painting isn't completely dry, that's okay because we have a couple of steps that as it we're working, it'll start drying a little bit. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna draw some tree trunks, then we'll draw our bridge, fill in our bridge, and then start with more, some more detail. So to make our tree trunks, I washed and dried my small brush and I am going to draw my tree trunks. And how I do that is I'm gonna use my small brush and I'm only gonna use a teeny bit, I'm gonna let that focus on there, a teeny bit of paint on my small brush. And I am just gonna make the trunks, they're gonna start right at the horizon line. And I'm just going, how I make my trunks is I make a letter Y. So I'm gonna give you a little close up. I'll do it and then you guys could do it. I'm just going to go make a line going up. And you want as thin a line as possible. Line going up and then I'm gonna make that into a Y. Branches always grow up, so just remember. And if your hand was a little shaky, that's actually a good thing. Then I'm gonna start making those branches into Ys as well. Gonna make a branch coming out of here. And make a branch out of here. Just make sure you always start the branch like at your center branch, at your trunk, and then move out. Just so the ends of those branches could be nice and skinny. If you get a little thick in some areas, that one's a little thick, we're gonna put more leaves on top of it so you don't even worry about it. And then how this trunk is really skinny, we're gonna leave it because we're gonna put our bridge right over there. So I'm gonna move on to my next tree. I'm gonna start with my Y as well. And then make that into little branches. And there we have our two trees. Now our bridge is pretty much gonna cover the bottom of those trees, but that's okay. To work on, if you're finished with your trees, what you could start doing is take your bigger brush, which should be cleaned as well, and you could start making some gray for your bridge. So I'm gonna start by making a really light gray. I just have the cap of my white paint. I'm gonna put some more white paint on there and then slowly add black until you get like a lighter gray. So I'm using my big brush to mix it, but I'm gonna use my small brush to draw the bridge. So for our next step, we are gonna draw our bridge. Our bridge almost has what I like to call like a lazy arch. So we're gonna make a curved line here, and then we'll make the curved line on the top. The bottom arch is actually gonna start in our pond and then go about an inch above that horizon line. So right now with my little gray, I am going to put a dot in the middle about an inch above our horizon line. And I'm gonna start, start that arch about like two inches in from the side and an inch below my horizon line. So I am gonna just put a dot there and two inches, put a dot there. And that's gonna give us, those three dots are gonna give us a template for our arch. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna collect, connect those dots with an arched line or a curved line. I'm gonna take my time and there we have our arch. And we wanna see those bushes through that arch, that's perfect. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make another arch line just right above that, probably about an inch, inch and a half above that. Make another arch line. And I'm just gonna connect that arch line to the side of my canvas on either side. And 
and then I'm just gonna, on the bottom arch, I'm gonna just connect it with a straight line. And there we have our bridge. Hopefully that was painless. So now what you could do is you're gonna take your big brush and you could start filling in your bridge with that gray. And you're gonna go right over your horizon line, your tree trunk that you work so hard on, you're gonna go right over it. If for some reason your you think your bridge needs to be lighter, you could add white as you're going. If a little blue gets into it, that's okay. Trying to make it a nice line on top. I'm just gonna fill that bridge up. Make sure you have a nice line on top. Take your time, spread out that paint. Once your bridge is finished, you can wash out your brush. And I'm just gonna add a little black detail. I'm gonna give it so it looks like it has a little dimension. So I'm gonna make like a black little line and then fill in the section between that line and the bridge. So all I'm gonna do, and everyone's bridge is gonna look a little different, that's okay. That's the joy of art. I'm just gonna start and just make a little curved line. Shoop. Just like that. And I'm like about an inch from the right side of the bridge. And I'm just going to fill that little section that is the horizon line up. And it's gonna just give me an illusion of depth. So I'm just filling that little section in. If you go a little bit below the horizon line, that's okay. Technically, you probably should. But we're gonna fill this section in. I'm gonna go a little bit below that horizon line. But we're gonna fill that section in right there with grass. So I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna take some of the black off my brush, but let's add some black detail to that bridge while it's still a little wet. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give, we're gonna add some stone detail to the bridge. So with my little brush and a little bit of black on it, I'm just gonna make a line that like mimics that bottom curve. we're gonna fill it in with stones in a little bit. While I have my little brush with a little bit of black paint, I'm also gonna add some birds in the sky. So make like little V's in your sky. So we're gonna let that bridge dry before we add some stone details. So I'm gonna wash out my brush and we're gonna go back to using a little green. So at this point, if you have a lighter green, you might want to make it a little darker. I only had a tiny bit of yellow in my little thing, so I just made my whole little cup green. You won't need the yellow anyway, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is in my trees, I'm gonna put a couple more leaves. And I especially like when you're using a different color green. It gives those trees dimension. 
So I'm going over some like the ends. If you didn't like one of the ends of your branches, go over it with a little green. There's no such thing as mistakes in art because you could always cover up your mistakes. Just took a little white and adding a little white to the green, but you don't really have to do that. So I just filled in my trees a little more. Now on my left side, I'm going to add like a little bush right where the bridge meets the water. I'm just going to add. A little bush some ground with green and we'll put a tree there eventually as well I'm going to switch over to the other side and I'm going to make my green a little darker I'm going to put some grass. So that grass is going to camouflage where the bridge meets the bottom of our pond. So all I'm going to do is just make lines going up in all different directions to cover up that bottom of the bridge. So I have like a little bush over here, a little ground, a little grass, and some grass over here as well. I'm going to wash out my brush. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to add some stone details to our bridge. So I have my gray and I'm just going to make it darker because we want like a two tone stone bridge. So I have my gray and all I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to just make with my a little brush that has a good amount of paint on it. I'm just going to make like little dash marks to make little stones and I'm just going to make rows of stones and they don't have to be perfect. If your color is too dark, you could go back and change it a bit. We drew I like to draw like almost vertical stones I'm going to wash both my brushes when that's finished 
give you guys a couple minutes to catch up and then we're going to add just some final details. We're going to add two more trees and I'm just making them into cherry blossom trees just so there's a little more color on the painting. But if you don't want pink in your painting, you don't have to, you just make them into regular trees. So I'll give you a couple minutes to catch up and then we'll come back and do our final details. So we are back and I'm gonna actually make some cherry blossom trees just to add a little color. So I'm gonna start by mixing some pink and then we could get started. So I have a cap, I have some white on the cap and to my white, I'm gonna slowly add a red until I get the desired pink that I like. I think that's good for me. And just like the green, we're, we could darken this as we go along. I actually like doing that. So what we are going to do is we are gonna add the same thing. We're gonna make two trees, one on the left, one on the right. They're gonna be a little lower. And we're gonna do the same method. So we're gonna dab some pink paint in like a glob to make our trees. So my first cherry blossom is going to be on the left side, right on the top of the bridge. I'm just going to dab with some of that pink. And once I have my pink done too, I'm gonna dab with some white too, to give it a little dimension calm down the pink a little bit. So there I have my first tree. My next tree is gonna be in this area over here. So I'm gonna put it, it's gonna go onto the bridge over some of the grass and into the water a little bit. So I'm gonna use that pink again. Dab, I'm gonna take some white. You could also make the, just the trees white. Be careful when you go over your green Green should be mostly dry. Mine's pretty dry. So go over it with some white. I'm gonna add some red in some faces too. The more dabs you put, like the fuller the tree will appear. I'm gonna put some red over here as well. And if you feel like you have too much red, it's all a game of layering. You could go back with some white, but you want different colors of pinks. So there I have my two cherry blossoms. Then I'm gonna wash out that small brush. And just with a little bit of black on my brush, I'm going to start making those tree trunks. So I'm gonna start with my left. I'm gonna start in my grass. Gonna go up and make a Y. You could go, you could take some of that, I took some paint off and I'm just gonna go back and thicken my trunk because we will see our trunk, so I'm gonna leave it a little thicker. So there we have our tree. I just did a simple Y because it's a smaller tree. And over here, I'm gonna almost make it like it's coming out from the bottom of the canvas. And I am just going to make, it's like a branch hanging out over here. a little line, a Y, and then I'm gonna turn one of them into another Y. So there I have that. I'm gonna wash my brush. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just go over, I'm gonna let those tree trunks dry for just a minute. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna layer some more leaves on top of it just so it looks real. So I'm just gonna carefully, it's still a little wet, so I'm gonna carefully put some leaves on top of those branches so it blends in a bit. Alrighty. So you could take this time to fix anything you need to. I'm gonna take a little black. I painted outside my lines over here. 
I'm going to redo that shadow. So take some time, finish anything that you'd like. But the last step of this painting is once you're happy with it, you are going to sign it in the corner. So I like to put my initials. My name's Allie. So I'll put my initials in the corner. At this point, you are finished with the painting. If you're not finished, finish up. Take as much time as you need to add those little details. Your painting should be dry in 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how thick you put some of those globs of paint. But if you do have like globs of leaves, I would go back with your small brush that's clean and just get some of those globs out. I hope you guys had a fun painting with me and have a great spring.